That's like for your hair. What do you do? What no, I don't. He have, spends probably three. No, I on a have haircut. fucking regular product. Do you that rub I use. vitamins like what? in it? No, I have fucking regular Berries product. I use yeah. Philip B. It's called Dirt. Philip B. I don't run, do. Run your oh, here we go. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Chris D'Elia. Yeah, we'll call you fucking Johnny Depp here. I'm Listen. De- I'm Brian Callen. No, but I have had to keep a low profile, though, so now that the show's out. I now that Whitney's oh, doing really so well? Obnoxious. No, I have a. I have a what yeah, do you mean? So I you're have being a, recognized? No, 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 no. No, Chris, I'm, you don't. I'm, no, listen to me. I'm not being recognized because I have a disguise. What is your disguise? <laughs> What's your disguise? Like, I have a I have a hat that I wear and a, a hat. What yeah. kind of hat? I've never it's seen a baseball you wear a hat. hat and, yeah. Everybody and has oh, a baseball. No, hat. Listen to me. No, it's a baseball hat and on it it says Chris. That's, that's your, your name. name. That's your name. No, Chris. no, 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 no. I know, but if you think about it, you're like, oh, that can't be him because why would he have a why name? Why would they? Him? First of all, why you would, don't yeah, have why like anybody... fans are not like, holy shit, it's Chris Delia. Yeah. No, yes, they, they are actually. They can just go to. But, but they can pay that's my point. Oh, really? They don't do that. They don't do that. It's because of my hat and disguise. What do if you I do, do you? if I wasn't wearing that, oh my god, you're, you're you're. I have the hat on, so they're not like, oh, Chris D'Elia wouldn't be stupid you, you, enough to you, wear a hat that have, says Chris. You have genuinely changed since Whitney. Has Absolutely. Been okay. Do you and, think? You know, do you, I, let me ask you two questions. Yeah. Do you think Jason Statham gets recognized all you're the time? You're not Jason Statham. I know. I understand. You, do you think? First okay, of all, let me ask you one question. Let me tell you one question. Let me ask you one question. Do you think Tom Sizemore has a hat that says Tom? I don't know. Okay. Do you? Yes. I don't know. You know what? Actually, yes, I do. Okay. Well, let's not use him because he's actually kind of weird, but. Do you think that Matthew McConaughey has a hat named with with Matthew? On? No, I don't okay. know. No, he doesn't. Okay, no. so do you think he gets recognized all the time? Yeah, yes. case in point. I don't get that's recognized. not case in point. It's Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, you're He's using been in fucking that's tons the of shoddiest movies. mathematical relationship I've ever heard. That's ridiculous. Uh, how is it shoddy? What what major? You're not. What you're major not network Matt show? What major network show is Matthew McConaughey on right now? He's, He's a, a movie star. star. He's, He's in all sorts of movies TV. and stuff. He's not doing apples, oranges, apples, oranges, apples, oranges. So so you're you're basically as famous as Matt McConaughey now. Is that what you're saying? It's McConaughey. I, Please well, respect. It's McConaughey. I'm, I'm no, it's, really good friends. With no, you're not good friends. I am real. We were on what a volleyball. You okay, then you do know. No, we, do, we, play you run compet- we play competitive volleyball and we do sprints on the beach. Then you know that he doesn't have a hat like that, and he gets recognized all the time. That's not why, because it, but he gets recognized because he does goes from movie to movie, and you don't do movies. I do movies. I know something about features. I went to the gas station. I got like six or seven sunglasses. You know they're he, cheap. You can just Chris get seven. hit me up the other day. He texted me from the Beverly Center. It was like twelve noon, and he said, "I'm at the coffee being the Beverly Center." What you doing and i said anything but that right. and then i texted him at 8 p.m later i said what are you up to and he or i said 411 i think right. and he said coffee bean beverly center yeah, no, he's he's, uh, he's been you were you there all day genuinely, but that's my spot no i probably went back i don't remember so you were just at the no, no, co- you were at the beverly fucking, center with a fucking hat on that the guy says Chris. the guy is and nobody genuinely recognized me. autistic and, and you nobody recognized the, you autistic. you might be one of the most emotionally bankrupt people I've ever met. Yeah, Nobody a, recognized me mess. all day, and did I wear the and I wore the hat all day? That's you're, all I'm saying. Anyway, so you're a mess. How am I a mess? And How you're am I not a mess? famous? That's, That's why okay. I didn't get recognized. You're guys, not guys, famous. Guys, when you guys. when you see me, when you see me the other day when we when I was at the comedy store, I did my set. Yeah. You saw me. You immediately said, "Oh, Chris." I didn't have my fucking hat on. Oh, oh my God! Because I I'm look, all right. gentlemen. Fame have, fame is a worthless currency. I agree, and, and I would know. That voice? Well, because I'm just trying to appeal to you. But you're talking about like a tell me. Why are you talking that voice? No, I'm just, I'm just trying to let you guys know that fame. You're subtly changing is, your voice. No, 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 I'm not. What do you mean? You I weren't want, sounding like I that. I just want you to understand something. You sound like William Shatner. No, no, no. I don't. I do not. I'm, I, I, I played Mr. Shatner's son. This is. This is my actual speaking voice. It is not. I've known yes, you for it 10 is. years. I, I've and known I you for like three want, years. Just listen to my soothing voice <sighs> as I tell you this. Wow. Fame is an illusion. <laughs> Just, yeah, why? Uh, why? Okay. No, I agree uh, with you. Uh, it's not worth uh, anything. You know, I'm gonna. Uh, I've been uh, in a lot of movies uh, and television what shows. Are you doing, Brian, Brian, what are you Brian, doing? Brian, what are you doing? What'd you do? Your boy. Did you? No, Brian, you're, are you you're, 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 attra- you're attracted. Oh, no. Dang. No. Dang. <laughs> Oh, don't sad. talk like that anymore, Will. Uh, don't talk like that. <laughs> he just made. Don't talk like what? Don't talk the deep voice. Don't man. talk the deep voice. Or don't him, don't say he's coming. No, it makes him come. But also, don't I'm say in, that. I'm in a mess. I'm in a, you guys talk amongst. Uh, hey, have you guys um? Have you guys checked out our Twitter page? Oh, uh, what is it, Will? It's called at Ten Min Pod. Oh God, I actually feel hatred. I feel my blood get hot when you say Ten Min Pod. 
<laughs> it should. It, that's the it worst. Called the Bri- it should be called Brian Callen and Friends. First of all, that's too name. long, and that's well, the very obvious. Is called Ten Minute Podcast, but the Twitter is called Ten Minute Pod. <laughs> don't, <laughs> Brian. Listen, just Will, please don't do that. <laughs> All right. So what else, Brian? Uh, so you, I. Uh, if you, how much time do we have left, Will? In this ten minute. Podcast? It doesn't matter. It, it, that's right. not. It's not a race. So dude. guys, my question to you. Let's get serious. My question to you is: What do you consider the perfect girl? Give me four qualities you have to have in a woman. <clears throat> wow, what a boring topic. Okay, she can't be. She can't be. She can. She. I want a girl next door because I don't want her to be too striking. Because I don't if know I'm what out, that means. Keep listen going. to me. I'm going to tell you because I don't want uh, when I'm out. I don't want people seeing her and then noticing me and then it's like a whole thing of coffee bean. Oh my god! What the? F- what is that supposed to mean? Like you want to be better looking than her? Or no, 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 no. What I'm saying is, if if I'm out and I'm like, and I have the hat on, oh, gee, the back uh, to the hat. Uh, no, 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 no. Will, 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 what is what is? No, your, no, no, no. Give me the four qualities. All right, you're jealous. You're jealous. I'm not you're jealous. jealous, Brian. You're jealous. I'm not jealous. You're jealous. What are your four qualities? No my one. four qualities. Yeah. Uh, must love football. Has a perfect ass. Great with kids and uh, loaded with class. No one ever brings. You know that what the up. problem with you guys is you don't know what you want. I know what I want. I know what I want. I know what I want. What do you want? What What do you want? That's why you're a couple fucking adrift. You're just a couple adrift. What do you want in a girl? You're a couple adrift. What do you look for? What do you look for? What would you what would you look for? Look for a strong, strong base. That's a guy. That's a guy. Philosophical base. That's a guy. That I can moor into. More. I look. I look for a. I look for a sturdy. Uh, I look for a good breeding stock. I look for short, a short back, wide <laughs> shoulders. I look for a high, tight rump. I look for high insertion calves. That's uh, more than smooth, four things. Brown skin. I will take thin You're, as long as she's. Perverted. You want a basketball player, a male basketball <laughs> no, player. No, you, you've no. just you've just described Patrick Ewing, uh, Muggsy Bogues. <laughs> oh, that's well. Muggsy Bogues, if that was a, if, I mean, have you seen the legs and ass on that guy? Yes, absolutely. Right, and if you turn that into or Spud Webb, you give him Man Italian, five, six and you, you give him Italian coloring and long brunette hair with those and lips. Um, Brian, I, I like a curvy brunette. Always have. So you, you want I like a power pack girl? You want a power pack girl? Oh. What about personality wise? What do you want? Personality's got to have a sense of humor and not be too ambitious. Well, well, that's so you want kinda, it's sort of a sounds. I like don't date actresses because actresses, uh, their first love is their acting, and I need them to be more devoted to me. You, you need their first love to be you. Yeah, that's kind of why are you making that sucking? Yeah, why are you why are you making it like you're just too cool for it? Nah, I just. Are you crying? You, you okay, Brian? Are you crying? <laughs> why are you crying? Because it's so emotional. I'm thinking about my first girlfriend. Oh, tell us about her. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Huge tits and raised nipples. Oh. Huge tits? Did you say huge tits? Yeah, and her cunt. Her cunt. <laughs> she had a plump cunt. I've always liked the plump cunt. Brian, don't say that Nation. word. Brian, come uh, on. Are you coming again? Oh, man. That's three is, times I'm so in ten hard. minutes. Man, I'm so embarrassed by this paper. Show. Terrible podcast. Any listeners that, we've ha- that we have are gone. Oh, oh. Sorry, buddy. Shit. So. <laughs> Dude, you're, you're a mess. I know. You want to go wash up? I got to wear diapers next time. <laughs> anyway, I'm fine. But Brian, now, what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> what would you tell somebody your age trying to get into the business as a 45 to 50 year old? You know, Chris, I'm... Because you're an up and comer. I'm not that old. I'm a young comedian. And but an I old, would tell them guy. to write what you're they think guy, is funny. Though. I'd say... Like a young I, comedian because you've only question? been doing it a couple of years, but you're like qu- an older guy. Can I answer the question? Okay, go. I would say to them, write what you think is funny and write every day and give it 10 years. So by the time they're 70. By the time they're 70, but I've always, I've always you're, said. Because you'll be, you'll, you'll be 70. Is just uh, Brian, a number. Don't sing. Brian, you can't sing on all of the podcasts. You can pretend. You can pretend you're 30 when you're 45. Well, thanks for tuning in, That's everybody. not even a good song. That's not Lyrically, Truth that's the worst song. Will hunt you down. If you join us again. Join us again. We'll, we'll try to. We'll try to. Keep Brian from coming. Keep Brian from coming. Or saying the C word. Saying the C word. Brian's IQ is 90. To it. Not true. No, you have to sing that Chris. part too. Brian's IQ is off the charm. No, no, that's not what I said, man. That's what you said. I said 90. That's what you said. 
Your IQ is 90. Thanks, you guys, so much for joining us, Brian Callen. No, 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 no. It's a 10-minute ten ten podcast. Minute podcast. Hey, and subscribe to us if you haven't already on iTunes and share us on the web. I après, uh, je suis le capitaine. Hein? No, 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 you're, you're, not. you're not the captain. Et tu es le, le um, comment tu l'as dit, le fils, mon fils. No, mon fils? I am not. That's not how you say. Not your son. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to Ten Minute Podcast. Mm-hmm. Hey Don't guys, like uh, you know what? If you go to our website, uh, 10 minutepodcastcom and uh, click through the uh, Amazon banner and order stuff, and we'll get a we'll get a little something. Yeah, something we're sponsored as a by Amazon. We're sponsored by Amazon, yeah, and, and the same thing too. goes with GameFly. Yeah. If you like to play video games, even if you 15 don't. day free trial. Uh, welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. My name is Will Sasso. I am Brian the Kid Callan, man. I'm Chris D'Elia, and imagine me with just a belt on. I'm just going to leave it like that. All right. Well, that's good. You know, I've been thinking, um, after all this is uh, said and done, and I win this whole little game called show business, and I'm about to, uh, I'm wondering what I'm going to do with my money and where I'm going to retire. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to retire hopefully around 60. Guys, Uh, hanging out with you. Around 60 guys. Around 60 guys. Oh, no. Seven years Hanging out with you. No, guys. And what I'm going to do is um, I've decided how I want to retire. I want to live in a hidden valley. Hidden valley? Like where they make the ranch dressing? So you can hang yes. out with a bunch of guys and nobody will bother you. No. I want to hang out with my family. And I want to wear, I want to wear tweed jackets. I'm going to read novels. Not from Kindle, but hard uh, cover novels. I'm a reader, which you guys aren't. This is, this is no different than how you behave sh- now. You wear up. stupid fucking jackets. That's true. Shut we up. talk about books no one gives a shit about. Yeah, that's true. And I'm, gonna, well, I'm, I'm educated. I apologize for being educated. You show up in lime apologize. green V-neck sweater from Banana Republic. Right? No, I've never worn a lime green. Don't say that, dude. You have pistachio. You have a selection of greens. Pistachio green, leaf you green, grass tons. green. I- Absolutely, wear earth, monochromatic greens, I, and absolute, you go and you go for dinner with boars. That is an absolute lie. You, you go wear, to dinner with boars. You'll, you'll wear a, bra- a fucking maroon V-necked bra- uh, 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 Banana Republic sweater that's itchy, yep. and you'll wear that fucking boots. That is an boots, absolute lie. Corduroys, dark dark jeans, Stop and it. you dress like you have eight million dollars and hang out with the people Blue who have a hundred million dollars. Stop yeah. it. Yeah. I'm going to have that I'm going to have a German here. Shepherd. Called Hamilton. No, you. And no. I'm going to train my shepherd. I'm going to get into dog sports. Schutzhund, are you going to get one of those? Are you going to get one of those German shepherds that you see in the Rob Report protecting the little I, girl? I am. I'm going to have a German shepherd. You get in Rob Report. That actually speaks German. I'm going to enter my dog into a Schutzhund. They're going IPO to enter your dog. Period. Yeah. International That's the end of the police sentence. sport competitions. You're going to buy a dog on the Rob uh, out of the Rob Report magazine for seventy five thousand well, dollars just so you can fuck it and go to jail. Hey, hey, hey dude. Can't That's fuck so dogs. I'm not going to fuck a dog. Don't and, fuck a dog, and man. I'm not going to fuck a dog. Don't fuck a dog. Dog, dude. Uh, I'm not. Okay. Well, don't. don't. With your like line. I'm just was, saying don't. With your line. I'm, you're acting like I said I did am. You not not say, going to. Did you not say I'm going to enter my dog? No, I said I'm going to enter. I'm going to enter my hey, dog. I said I'm going to enter my dog in Schutzhund and IPO competitions, which is bite competitions and patrol competitions, and they're going to bite the fuck out of you if you come to visit me, shithead. All right? <laughs> I'm going to go like this. I'm going to go. Sweater. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. Hamilton. Always. Hey man, you gotta stop talking about how you order dogs and around on this podcast, yeah. okay? Because not- you're always like, shoop, shoop. My- you, you catch Hamilton. dogs and Hamilton. you're fucking. <laughs> Which means, up, 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 hands, hi, Which means, attention, attack, like that. And and then he's gonna go right for the fucking. And what I'll tell you where I'm gonna teach my. Shut up! Talking shut about up. right now. I'm gonna tell you where I'm gonna teach my fucking bite train. This is the worst retirement train, plan ever. Dutch train my. Dutch Shepherd, my bite trained 120 pound Dutch Shepherd, where he's gonna bite you? He's gonna bite you either under the arm, under the arm, when you give flight, and you will give flight, or he's gonna bite you um, just over the oblique on the side of your body. He's gonna take a, take a chunk, because that's a soft area, man. He's bringing you to the ground, and then when you think I'm gonna call him off as he's pulling, I'm gonna start booting you about the fucking face and mustache. Hey, this is a really stressful retirement. I know, dude, but I don't want you on my property, fuckface. Okay? All right, man, well, I'm not going to be on your property have taken because, my inv- invitation. because when I retire, I'm going to be fucking posted up where I still live, run in the fucking coffee shop that I run, <laughs> and I'm going to be near the fucking, and I'm not telling you where I am, but there's a Wells Fargo there. I open up a account there. See, what happens is 
I run this fucking joint. I run half a block that's, that's in the not, valley. That's just not. It, everyone know. There's an old guy there that comes uh, uh, comes sometimes, and he thinks he runs the fucking joint. But people don't like him. He's not nice. Dude, dude, I'm the fucking mayor, and I'm not talking about Foursquare. I'm not talking about real mayor. I'm talking about the fucking mayor of this spot. So your aspiration okay? is to to run half a block. In the valley, you want to run it as in you know everybody and you want to be like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah I think you sort of look up to this old guy you're talking about. No. Yeah. Okay, look, here, man. First of all, the old guy's fucking crazy. Okay, I'm yeah, not see, crazy. I'm talking about real, real. Uh, you want to be him. No, look, listen to me. That's listen what, to me. This is what you want to do for your retirement plan? You want to just sit around and drink I, coffee? I'm, gr- I'm growing my own food on my gentleman's farm with, my, fi- with my German Shepherd Hamilton, who's going to protect my fucking property line, and I'm going to be reading books in a tweed jacket, smoking a pipe. I'm and you sitting, and you and and that's a retirement. I'm that's sitting a real at the co- I'm and sitting swilling at the coffee excellent shop. wine for my cellar. I'm sitting at the coffee shop with a with a raging hard on. <laughs> okay, what? Because there's hot girls that come in the coffee shop. But you'll be sixty. Something. Yeah, seventy. Yeah, and it'll be raging, and I'll be famous as shit because my career will be very decorated, and I'll. I'll own fucking land everywhere, but I don't even give a shit. I don't. You're go not there. even gonna go spend time in nope. your land. That's nope. what you should be doing. Nope. You That's know what, what I want to. Nope. You want to be land. You want to be landed gentry. I'm ha- I'm 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 housing all of my children from different women. What? Where on all your on land? Your all, land? All my land well, everywhere. Do you, you visit, visit them? them? They visit me at the coffee. That's shop. so fucking weird. Yeah. Man. And the raging hard on doesn't happen when they're around because they're kids and they're my family and that's disgusting. But what I do is I give them gift cards to the coffee shop. <laughs> And they're able to get coffee whenever they want. Why don't you buy the coffee shop? Just buy the coffee shop. Because I don't like having to fucking work. I'm retired. Oh, that's I, I know, true. dude. But they you... work for me. Oh, but if you buy it, then and you I won't... sit down in my shorts on my Tommy Bahama shirt and I just lounge out and fucking do it. I run it, man. Oh, oh, guess what? I ran the block for fucking years already. Seven years, dude. And guess what happened, man? I had a bank account at another fucking place, Citizens Business Bank. <laughs> what did they do? What? They fucking closed down the gas station next to the coffee shop. They built up a Wells Fargo. Yeah. They tried to kick daddy out. Guess what? what? I opened up a fucking account from Wells Fargo. That's so? Sayonara, so C- Citizens Business Bank. Oh, jeez. I'm integrating my fucking, my nature mm-hmm. into this block. If you're trying to fucking, guess what? You're going to open up a Five Guys restaurant near my block? I'm eating there every fucking day. Okay, dude, all right, you're all right. acting really aggressive, uh, and it's, it's, this it's, is not dude, an You guys are not painting a picture of a, a proper retirement, of a relaxing retirement in your golden years. What Let would me you do? I'm gonna. I love Big Bear Lake, California. It's one yeah. of my favorite places, and I'm going to uh, buy half uh, p- a portion of the lake to build la- yeah, to build my a, property. It's really on. expensive. I'm gonna bu- I'm gonna buy Boulder Bay. If you ever look, okay, you can look that up on Google Maps. Yeah, Maps. I mean, it would cost a lot. A How much? A lot yeah, of probably money. probably some billions. Okay, you, and I'm gonna I'm gonna build a cabin. Uh, I'm gonna build sort of a, a compound there around the bay, and I'm gonna. I've said this before, but I'm gonna grow a long beard, and I'm gonna gain or lose fifty pounds, and I'm gonna check out, and uh, I'm gonna run a a, a, a an acting school. For oh, wayward, man. for wayward young ladies. Oh, dude, that's so really all, creepy, so all man. The, all the girls who like come to California, come to LA to be actresses, and they're like, "Ah, oh, I'm just, you know, I got a fight, I got a role on like Two Broke Girls, but then like didn't go so well after that, yeah. and it's kind of, you know, kind of been doing a lot of bartending for a year and a half, yeah. And, you know, so I'll have like, I'll be like have a website set up, and you can just sign up and like a sedan, a very a dark blacked out sedan. Dude, this is so we'll creepy, man. Yeah, mine's better, dude. What, and, you, what are you gonna do with these girls? I'm gonna teach them how to act. I'm gonna teach them my timing. I'm gonna pass my gift along to them. Okay, but uh, why is it just girls? Pass, can can guys? Pass, no, I was passing my gift along. Don't to ever them. say you're Ew. gonna pass your gift. Ew, I'm gonna pass my gift. I'm gonna have a long beard. They're your eyes are getting in. hazy, bro. They nuzzle in my gift. Oh, they nuzzle in with me. No, bro. Watch the lake. Watch the water. So hey, guess what, man? Get a pontoon boat. I'll catch trout. Oh, I'll catch God. trout. Oh. I'll split the trout down the middle, gut it. Stop pull, talking outside of your pull, mouth, bro. I'll pull, I'll pull the bones out of the trout and Ew. push it against the Ew. barbecue. Make Ew. trout piccata for everybody. Dude, you're talking out the side of your mouth. That's right a retirement. Now. All right, all right. Hey, you're, Brian, Brian, yeah. scream into the microphone more, man. Scream into the microphone hey, Chris, more. calm down. And fucking hey, please dude. pop it like you always do. Okay. Hey, you see how loud I'm getting? You see how far away the Why? fucking you're microphone is? He doesn't know how to use a mic. Yeah, it's you, far away. You, when you scream, you get closer. You got all jumped up about retirement. You're freaking out. doing it now, dude. I'll fucking get out in it. I'm, I'm a fucking cancer. If you open a Wells Fargo next to my coffee shop, I'll open up what an account in it. I don't care, man. And I'll put fucking thousands of dollars right, into man. it. All right, man. Okay. Who and gives a 
Millions. years? Hey. Millions. Tell them to calm and down. And in more than that, billions. Crazy. And in more than that, zillions. What comes after zillions? Jajillions. Trillions. No. Trillions. Thanks for listening to the 10 Minute Podcast. And thanks for subscribing and downloading on iTunes. We'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already. And please rate and review that motherfucker. Morons. We'd love to hear how you morons. feel. Don't, what, no, we're not morons. How long is a trillion? How, how many billions is a trillion? There's some Seven. zeros Seven. at the end of it. Seven. Seven? Seven billion, billion is a trillion. My time is coming. My time is coming. I'm going to be a big star someday. Oh, Will yeah. and I already oh, are. Will star. and I already oh. are. Wow. What did you say? What? Is it Chris and I already been stars, but Brian's gonna make it someday. <laughs> Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcast. Uh, yeah, hey, how are you? Good. Welcome to our podcast. No, I wasn't asking you. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I get no, it's nervous. Cool. It's cool. How do you get nervous? <laughs> Why are you nervous? I'm, I'm you on do... new medication. I get real Chris, nervous. Oh, no. You're, you do stand up all the time, like every night. You're in front of audiences. You're most at home in front of an audience. I know. You've been doing this. We've been doing this podcast over a year. I know, but I'm on uh, this new medication. I'm so nervous. Oh man! Oh man! What a mess! Uh, you're a I'm mess! A oh, you're a booger! You look have at a his booger! You have boogers! I'm sorry, Glee. Oh, he's got such a dumb look on his mouth. Wazies. <laughs> Wazies? Hmm. What? Oh. oh. Okay. Welcome to the ten minute uh-huh. podcast. Um, if you're gonna buy something on Amazon, help us out. Go to ten minutepodcastcom You hit the banner. We'll get a little kickback. Uh, it'll cost you fucking nothing. Blah 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 blah. And, game uh, fly. You didn't even do it yet. That's fine. Yeah, but the ad is gonna be from now on. Just game fly. Sure, I like that. Uh, 15 day free trial. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callan. I'm Chris D'Elia. Yeah. 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 Hey, by the way, check us out. You can check out our stand up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Brian and Chris do stand up. So go yeah. to crystalia.com, go to briancallan.com, or go to hamfatter.com because I didn't call my website after my name. Yeah, Although but you're not doing stand up. So that's good for fuck? marketing, Will. That's good for marketing. Well, it's, it's, it's a I'll brand. You know, it's its, own, it's its own thing. You don't you don't go and see a movie called Tom Cruise.movie, do you? Uh, I you actually would. Idiot. You would see yeah, I'd be Tom first Cruise.movie. In line. And every movie I'm ever in is going to be called Crystalia In. And then the Did movie you guys title. see Jack Reacher? No. Nope. Uh, you know, no, but hey, Brian saw Jack Reach around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God damn it. Yeah, I got you. I I'm, the, I'm the only guy who yeah. could actually play that role among us because I'm a badass and I'm athletic and I'm and I'm a, me, a take me, no prisoners guy. No, me, you could, no, you couldn't. No, you couldn't. Me, you're, yeah. you're ridiculous. No, I'm no, not. It's, no. Also, it's also, it, actually, if you read the book, uh, One Shot or whatever the fuck it's called from yeah. Jack Reacher book, is it, the character is more like Will, to be honest. So. I, I have, what well, is, in, what's it about? He's a really big guy that's right, well a i'm i'm six three i'm built like guy. a fucking yeah, nfl defensive run. end you, you oh i can't, can't run, run? No. oh i didn't oh i didn't run a five one at, at my fucking okay see now you're acting like a, you're the, acting like a chick you're as, acting as like a high an, school yeah. senior like an eight like football. an eight that's a chick so don't do that 40 no that wasn't me but you're an idiot so how are you oh really yeah oh i'm a fucking idiot oh i didn't just see you whip together whip up this whole podcast fucking thing i'm not sitting here in front of all this nerd equipment fucking figuring it out can i be honest with you if i were you you know what i would do if i if i were you if i were to be inhabited if i were to inhabit your being yeah which It'd is be a good which, time first of all you'd be so lucky to have my brain and my sensibility let me tell you the first brain. thing you would do if you inhabited my I being would, I would you'd put, look down you'd look down at my fucking oak log of a dick and go oh my no. goodness because no, no, you'd have my voice so you'd go and when i look at my dick i go oh my goodness no, no. that's so and creepy. if there's a girl in front of me and she's looking at my dick she's doing the female version of that which is Oh my god! Like she's going as deep as she can. Yeah, why she sounds, is it? Why is old. it the girl? Really why old. is it the girl from fucking? Oh uh, my goodness! Who, who played Gen- the voice Jennifer of Bride Tilly? Truck Chucky? Yeah, that's exactly what I was going for. Jennifer Tilly. Yeah. No, that yeah. sounds like an old. When lady. I'm having oh sex, my goodness. when I'm having sex with Jennifer Tilly, after she's won a poker tournament and she looks at me, oh my goodness! And I go, oh my good. Anyway, what the fuck were you gonna say? Well, I you got a nub, so I wouldn't be able no, to I don't see have your dick. I would look. No, down I don't have I wouldn't be able to see your dick. No, I don't have a nub. I wouldn't. It looks like a. It looks like two. Two cylinders of Morton salt. Ew, gross. <laughs> stacked yeah, one. No, up. it's stacked no. together. It's it, side by side. Yeah. <laughs> side by side. That's what it looks like. Ew. But, yeah. but you, it, it you looks, it looks like the headlights of a fucking 1921 Ford Model T. Well, I tell your, your you what dick, I would do juts, with wheels juts. on it. If I did, if I looked, if I was it, Will, if I was Will, I would for sure what I would do is definitely put that hat a little bit higher on your head because when you wear it backwards, he's one of those guys that puts the fucking 
hat as low as his eyebrows, yeah. which yeah. Su- pisses me off. Yeah, yeah. you know it what I would do? Su- pisses me off. <laughs> Okay, but you know at, but little about hat wearing. Look at this. Right. Well, no, that's worse. Yeah. Just make it half. He put it all the way up on the back. Okay. If, it, I, were will, we're gonna if take, I were Will, we're going to take actually... a picture of that, and we're going to put it on 10 yeah. Min Podcast. You know little ten, about hat on wearing. Ten, on at 10 Min Pod on Twitter, and you can see which which you prefer. If I were you, Will, or I would not. put myself to use. What a dumb idea. Oh, that's a cool use. idea. i put myself to use. I'd dress up like a turkey, no. and I'd hand out flyers for free turkey sandwiches at some restaurant hey, that sells turkey no, sandwiches. I'm a, no, I'm an actor. I would do that. I'm, more, a, I'm an actor. Yeah. I'm, I'm a man about show business. Yeah. I produce and write. I, I pop peas because yeah. I just popped some peas. Yeah. You're, 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 like, you're, 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 a, you're a giant pillow man and I would... It's actually pillow, would, not pillow. Uh, okay. mm. Don't right. be one of those fucking mm. guys. Pillow. You, you should take be used, the pillow, no. then you sleep. You, you should be used to plug dams. If well, I were Brian, what I would do is, first of all, immediately stop fucking guys because I'm not gay. Right. Okay? okay. And then yeah. what I would do is right. stop sometimes checking out my own asshole in mirrors whenever <laughs> I walk by because you do that. I've seen you do it. Okay? I, what, he just pulls his pants down yeah, and, and he no, just checks part, it out. I keep a clean whistle. Yeah. No. You keep it, yeah, and you get, yeah, no, you don't. I keep a clean whistle. By having guys clean it with their mouths. No. And what you do is, mm. what I would do if, if I was Brian for real. Mm. Is I would just run in front of a fucking moving bus. Hey man, hey, dude. Because you should. Because no. you should. Seriously, it would be good for your career. Because you'll be a lot more famous. Why? I would die. No, I know. But then you'll be on the news. No, dude. Here's what, Chris. If I was you, what I would do is I would go on stage at any of the the clubs you you like to frequent, like the Comedy Store or the Laugh Factory, with my face clean shaven for the first time in a long time, yeah. and everyone would go, "Oh wow, look, Chris, you yeah. look good. You look handsome. You, you've yeah. shaved your face." And then I would have like a trimmer, a hair mm. trimmer, mm. and I would shave my fucking head while singing, "Oh." By myself. No, why would you do that? Don't wanna, and then just go, because, I'm crazy. But that's yeah. not really a and, good... And, and then, then you, you'd wake up in your body and go, what the fuck did Will do? Right. Because then your career would be over. <laughs> no. And all of a sudden you'd and be like, be all oh, over I'm TMZ. fired. I'm fired from everything. I didn't know my hair was the star. That's what you'd say. No, I'm I just... fired from everything. I didn't know my hair was the star. <laughs> And the bummer is that you'd have be you'd be reduced to begging. You'd be a beggar because what I was gonna say is if you keep your hair, take a t-shirt, yeah. cut the sleeves off, tie it in a knot, or baby cut it, cut it just below the nipples, hang out in a pair of tight shorts, a buckskin shorts, buckskin shorts, yeah. and and hang out on Santa Monica Avenue with your hip out and your thumb, your thumb a jutting. And turn tricks. You know what? Turn you know what? The good tricks. thing, of, the good thing for you to do, the good thing for you is, if I cut my hair, you could use some of it to cover up your fucking bald spot. There hey, bro. Hey, yeah. I don't have a bald spot. Oh yeah, I'll tell you, you do. Brian, I'll tell you what I would do if I were you. I would start a YouTube channel called Brian Callen Fucks Foods. What? And then yeah. I would just fuck like a ham. Yep. It would be like a, an eleven-minute video of good you one. fucking a ham. I'm not yep. gonna. And then just like fucking a big salad, mm-hmm. and, you know. And then just just fucking a big a yep. fucking no. a seven layer bean dip. No. And just I'd post like literally five or six videos a day yep. of you until you got back in your body and I ruined your shit. No. Fucks food. <laughs> Brian I Brian Callen F U X food. <laughs> no, no. F U with an umlaut D. An umlaut D. Yeah. Um That's what I would do if I were you. Well, if I were you <laughs> I would uh, I would dress myself up. Um, I would I would attach a bunch of fish to my body, no. and then I jump I jump I'd hurl myself into the uh, sea lion uh, cage. Does why? It... What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> you guys, why are you so mean? I'm just saying, if I were you, uh, I would change my hat, and if I were you, I'd jump in front of a bus. <laughs> hey, that's, bro, that's pretty mean. That's man. really mean. The hat yeah, thing? don't talk about my hat. No, that the way. jump in front of the bus. No, the hat bus. thing. Like no. my fucking hat. I know what I'm doing with my fucking hat. I've been wearing hats backwards for quite a while. I'd also go to see if I, I were Brian. S- I'd go to if I were Brian. I'd go to see, I'd go to the doctor to see how many fu- STDs I have because hey. I'm sure you have to clear them clear them up. And yeah. test no, them. I'd I ask don't. my doctor how many T cells I have left. No, yeah, my dick has my dick has a cold. A chronic cold. It's not gonorrhea. Your dick has a, has a cold. It has a bronchial cold. It so your dick is just kind of sniff. Has the sniffles. It has kind of sniffles. So the gets a little think snotty. That yeah, people think that that's gonorrhea, but it's not. Yeah. It just has the sniffles. Listen, look at it. Chris is yawning. I yawn because you you guys are boring. What? Uh... Well, if I were you, Chris, well, it's I would, too late I would, now, man. I would figure out hey, a way man. to. Podcast to, is over, man. Yeah. I would learn to read. I'd learn to I, read. I, listen, man. I know. I, I know a lot read. about current events. 
Yeah. Don't does current event in it. it. La dee dee da. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the 10-Minute Podcast. Uh, check us out on uh, iTunes. Please subscribe and download and rate and review us there. Just tell one friend about the show if you enjoy it. Let's let's keep this motherfucker rolling. Uh, we're on Stitcher Smart Radio, 10 min, um, Twitter at 10-Minute Pod, Facebook slash 10-Minute Pod. Myself, Brian, and Chris are all on the Vine app. Check that out if you haven't already. 10-Minute Podcast is on the Vine app. Visit Shut their, up. Visit BrianCallen.com. And Chris D'Elia, fuckface.fart to check out where they're doing stand-up. They're in states. Coming to a stage near you. Mm, great. You know, guys, I value you as friends. And uh, I think you'll probably come to do great things in your life. What are you doing? If what you do you... them right. Cool. Okay, why you... No, cool, cool, cool. I'm just saying uh, I could help you. Hmm. So smiling like that is weird. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcast. You guys are giving me that look. Well, well yeah. Well, yeah. You're smiling through Why the am I? Thing. What's the problem with smiling? You're just sitting up. No, there's nothing the wrong with smiling. Maybe I have something to share. You know what? Lay off it. Lay off him. Who cares? All right. Hey, welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. Uh, if you're going to buy something on Amazon, go to 10minutepodcast.com and hit the Amazon banner because we've, you know, put it, do a new bookmark because something like that. Not that that matters in the end, yeah, right. in end times, right? Yeah. I think you guys are picking up what I'm laying sure. down. My name is Will Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid for, Callen. For now, very, my name is Will Sasso. Uh, very All right. clear. Um, I'm, very clear. I'm Brian the Kid Callen. I heard you. If you, if you uh, like to laugh, come to uh, Sacramento and the Punchline, November 7th, 8th, 9th. Let and him then, finish, uh, Christopher. And, and in Utah, I'll be... Uh, why would you call me Christopher? At Wise, Wise Guys, I'll be uh, yeah, on uh, the like stand on the 29th and 30th. Sounds this like sa- a great one. Sounds really important to you, yeah. what you're talking about. Hey, do, it, hey I guess it on is. Wise Guys, in the club of... I'm Chris D'Elia. When, uh, on Wise Guys, do they have uh, like pictures of old mobsters on the No, I don't know if they do, because I've not do. been there. I'm, I'm well, sure it's a great theme. There's great probably, theme. There's probably a, a black fedora hanging off the S in Guys Yeah. at the end of the name. I don't know. Maybe there's... Hey, oh, hey, you know what? Maybe in the waiting room, there's... Fake bullet holes. Don't know, dude. Haven't been there, but I doubt it. You will. It's a comedy and that's club. that's sad that you're going to be there. Why? Because it's a really good comedy club in, in, in Salt Lake City? Hey, that's an oxymoron. Salt Lake City, you know, home of uh, home Mormons. Home of comedy. Yeah. Home of gripping... Hey, you guys, do you guys know, stop snarling. Do you guys, do you guys know much about, comedy. Uh, do you guys know much about the Mormon faith? The I do a little bit, yeah. I actually Church do, Church of Latter-day Saints? Yeah. yeah. A little bit. I almost married a Mormon girl. Really? No, I actually... Uh, that's interesting uh, because it up. I have something I want to share with you guys today that uh, will definitely change the course of my life. And if you're, uh, Man, you if you're sound, smart, yeah. it's going to change the, the course of your lives also. Yeah, I don't recognize you right now. You sound Brian, like... I have big news. Okay. I love you. You're my friend. Chris, I love that's you. You're my friend. I mean, right. That's not the news I want to share. All right. All right, good. I've been an actor for a very long time. It's been very good to me. Just don't announce you don't have that and I've been uh, I've been deciding some things some things have come up and mm. it's sort of in its infancy now but uh, I've sort of laid the groundwork and um, I want to share this with you here okay. first okay, you my man. friends what is I'm, it? I'm waiting and I want to share it with my audience yeah. whom, whom I love very much all right and I hope you'll all come with me on this journey and what is it you're talking uh, in, uh, let him what is it all right I've created a religion oh god it's like it's. I knew. I knew. You didn't it was know. You couldn't weird. possibly okay. know what right. I know. Before know. we even really get into this and and start, because we're obviously yeah. going to be. Because I'm blood red mad immediately. Me, me okay. Too. Well, that's but the me, first but reaction. Can I, no, can I, before that's we even said. get before we even get to that. Were, yeah. Before we even get to that. Yeah. Why are you? Why are you speaking differently and being a completely different type of person? Or because here's I've, a better question: What the fuck are you talking about? But that I'm was talking, the anger I'm that talking I was about talking about. I was trying to hold back on that anger. Yeah. Is what I was I'm, talking about. I'm, I'm fuck. I'm talking about. Please don't use that language around me. No, I'm actually, talking because no, we're grown men. We're grown I men, will, especially yeah. especially Brian. Yeah. Well, and I don't you've wanna, always used. Those I don't want to tell. I don't want to tell you guys what to do. But I just, if things go as planned, you guys will probably be doing a lot did, of things that I tell you. Find God now. Is that what you're That's not what I'm talking about, Brian. What is it? What's your What's your religion, dude? Well, what's this? What's the name of it? What is it? What anything? What's the name Just of it? Just shoot it. Shoot it out. What is it? Uh, it's called Willigen. I'm gonna. I'm out of here. Flip don't out. leave. Hold on, Chris. Chris don't leave. leave. Don't, you know what, Chris? Stay. Just so I we can leave. shit. Just so we can. Just so we can get to it's the bottom called, of this horse shit. It's called Willigen. It's called Willigen. 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 And what are the? And who's the god in the Willigen? Well, Brian. We're you're all, looking at him, my yeah, friend. All, yeah, uh, you know, so yeah, you're the yeah. god. Okay. Look, guys, so, I don't want you to... Please don't defecate on this. I need your help. Stop okay. smiling. And, and, and what do we I have to do? I haven't stopped smiling in days. And it's what gross. do we have to do? You, 
can be my disciple. Okay. No now fucking that's, way. Now here's the thing. You know. You know us. And yeah. whether or not you've changed, you know we haven't. Right. right. So let me ask okay. you a question. Why the fuck would you say that? Because Stop. now we're angry. Right. Don't be angry. Because you I, know that. You guys I, are lining up. Fuck girls. Hey, look. Well, I will say this, Brian. Yeah. Right now, as far as religion goes, it's so, sort of on the I- introductory phase. It's sort of at the sure, beginning. Sure, of course it is, because yeah. I never heard it before. And it's sort of just me and there's a uh, couple chicks. Yeah. And mm-hmm. they come over to the house and I wear like a, a sheet. Cloth. Can I tell you yeah. what'll help can I tell you what'll help your what? religion? What? If Will and I fucking crucify I'm, you. Mean you Chris. Me, me, I Chris. mean if Chris mm. and I, I now, mean, see that's Chris interesting. I, that's interesting. Because no. you're looking at me no. and you said Will. No. Because I'm taking you that's right, you're taken by my I'm my, not taken. I have the charisma and character to be a religious leader. I've always been a leader, guys. I was I was uh, I was the captain of my high your school football is team. Really red right I, I now? was always I was always uh, no. in the drama club and all that. You're like, the captain hey, of a football we're gonna do team. West Side doesn't Story. Mean that doesn't be, mean you're God. We're, yeah. we're gonna do. We're gonna do South Pacific. And then I. And then I went on to act and do all these cool things. And you know, I was looked at as a leader. So we'll crucify you. How's don't that no. Sound? Don't crucify. So we me. can martyr you. Look. Yeah. Here, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you a little story. Do you? I mean, do you guys even know how religions get started? Well, I mean, they're yeah, philosophers. I do. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they're a actually I do. has a vision. Hey, also, hmm. Let's see. Do you know how uh, religion gets started? Yeah. Hey, also, you sound like David Koresh. Hey, that guy was a cult leader, Chris. Yeah. That's not what I'm Ask doing some here. point. No, 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 no. It's not the point. You yeah. point. No, it's no, no. Look, point. look, guys, just because religion is in its infancy right now, Stop and right now religion. the only followers are a couple of chicks who come over on Wednesday nights, and I wear my robe, and I read from the book. Yeah, yeah, that's a cult. And uh, Hold it's on, not a cult. Well, it is. What, what do you what, what, what do you, you talk, what do you what, what, what do you read? To yeah, them? wait. What are you talking about? The book. book. What, what book? do you what say book? to them? It's called the Great Big Giant what is it called? Important Book. Oh, Willography. It's the worst name. No, for it's not a an book, autobiography. Dude. Well, I've just only written a couple pages in it, but they're listening. Uh, but you don't have anything to say. I have lots to say. What do you have to say? All right, look at it. Look at it this way. There's so many ways to start a religion. L. Ron Hubbard started it. That guy was like a he was like a science fiction yeah. guy. He was sort of a, a hypnotherapist. You I know, know, but he was sort of he would sort of put in. You know, uh, secret messages and stuff to to get people so to, to messages? listen to him. Right. You guys are going to follow me, and you know, he he sort well, of would like well, sort of I drop was, in little subliminal that. things. That wasn't what? subliminal. That wasn't that even was, subliminal. Yeah, that, Be my followers. No, what? that's no, not. That's, the, you're, just, you're trying to work that in. It's I, so plain. Everyone heard you just say, "Be my followers." That's yeah. so, you heard that. Okay, so Stop maybe that's not smiling. a good... All right, look at it this way. Look at it this way. Uh, around World War II, you know, America's military went out to the no. South Pacific, and they they, they dropped in... They, they created military installations out in uh, islands that had never even seen hey, the light of day. the military and, channel? And, and, and they, they, they put in airstrips and stuff, and a lot of these natives in the islands had never even seen this sort of technology. So when they saw these big birds in the sky, you can imagine what they thought. They actually started creating uh, uh, fetishes and idols uh, in worship of these. They created uh, uh, planes Will out you- of... You're, 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 you're getting, you're getting, to, you got to calm in, down. Invite these Will, visitors calm, back, and okay. and they started praying to them and Will, and, and, and you're, worshiping you're foaming, them. Bro. Well, all we have to do is if we make like a big remote control plane that's like me, like a like a no. big like a big helium filled me, and it flies around for ten years, and we just fly it around Fiji and the islands and no, stuff. No, they and have then they go, religion. They go, oh, no, oh, Everyone well, knows well, what well, a plane well, is. Won't. That's Everyone very knows about no, not now. There are people that are still in the dark ages, and then ten years later, I walk up, they'll be like, what the fuck? And they'll follow Whoa. me. <laughs> they'll follow me. No. I'll be their god. No, you just need a hug, no, man. No, I want to be a religious leader. You're having a breakdown No, right I'm not. Now. This you is need a good a hug. Religion is the way of the future. And if I just get those dark brown guys oh. over, Whoa. What? Whoa. Whoa. It'll be me and the chicks and the brown, the g- right, dark, the dark I, guys. I, 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 Captain I, 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 I I'll bring the guys I over not here. I condone like this. Kurtz. They'll be my army. No. Oh. No. Yes. Your army? For, for what? For what? The, will, the religion dark army of the night. Whoa. <laughs> what are they going to do? Well, they're going to no. carry out my, 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 my agenda. Which is what? Which is what? Agenda, what? Bro. Power. I want power. Oh, oh, my God. Whoa. Why can't I have power? Hold on. Will your voice. Hold on, will dude. Your voice I am the great and no. powerful William. Will, you're the that's power. That's not a good name. All right. That's not. No, that's not really what I'm going you for. you see but, what okay. happened to you just then? Yeah, well, you kind of Your voice got real low. It went to your head. It went to your head. It went really low. You. Yeah, but I was just doing it. It didn't even sound like you. Look, if these guys, if you guys just come over on Wednesday nights. Whoa, please no, just come over. Wednesday. Look, look, Wednesday nights. I'm busy. Look, these girls. Look, you go. Wednesday's okay, guys. guys, night for guys me. Are you guys, insane? Please, just listen. If you come over on Wednesday nights. 
I'll, I'll let you fuck the girls. Oh. Well, ah. I, I I'll, let you, I'll let you fuck. Are they good looking? Yeah, they're both. They, like, I mean, out of I'm ten, really good looking. Married, one's, married, one's a legit nine and a half. Uh. You guys can fight over her. She's a bikini model. Okay, well, I'll beat I get, him up. I'll I get, get that one. I get that one. I get that one. So you guys just come over on Wednesday night. We can have some refreshments. No, but I just, just, and we just listen to what I have to say, and then you can fuck the girls. And what do we do? We have to pray to you? We just listen. We'll just listen. We'll just listen. I mean, my listen. My pray me a little bit, but you get to fuck. I'll do that. Listen. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah, you listen, that. pray, and fuck. I get the nine. I get can the you just kind of... Did I do some pray and fuck? Nine. If you pray, you can fuck. So I have pray and fuck. nine, kai nine. Pray and fuck. It's time for podcasting friends and pals. That's... You're people are going to think We're that's doing, what it's called. No, it's no, it's called, called something else. Some podcasts are so... And you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcasts. You know, I just wanted to say something before we get started. That ad that you just heard with the beautiful guitar riff in the background, you know who did that? Not our theme song. The no, not one. our theme song. Just the sponsor ad music. And the young man who puts together and plays all of the really incredible guitar music that plays under all of our sponsor ads, that's my nephew, Joseph. He's, oh, yeah. not, he's not even 15 he's yet. Gotta be, wow. He's got to be at least Seriously? 60 to play like no, that. No, right? he's, he's not even 15. He's got a bright future. So your Uncle William just wants to say, hi, Joe. Thanks for the music. He's been providing a lot of it for us, and he's got a bright future. That's so if really you're out cool. there and you need a guitarist for your band, perhaps you are uh, Billy Corey. Oregon, and you're trying to reform Smashing Pumpkins. I don't know what form Maybe. you're in, but this is an open he letter. He definitely to, listens to, to our podcast. Yeah, he must be listening. So uh, bring my nephew Joseph out on the road. I'm proud of all my nieces and my nephew, but but don't uh, don't expose him to anything shitty. Yeah. Uh, welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast. An unnecessary disclaimer. But... <laughs> welcome to the Ten Minute Podcast. I'm Will, the Chief Engineer of Laughter and Cheer Sasso. Oh well, That's oh God, I gotta have a nickname. I gotta have a whole a huge no for that. Yeah. That's a you don't no. like that? No, huge no. It rhymes. And that's the number one thing about nicknames is don't have them rhyme. Well, the chief yeah. engineer of laughter and cheer. Yep. Well, we kind of sit here and I, I geek nicknames, up the computer. Nicknames are no. supposed to be shorter. Like the kid, right. Ryan the Kid. Or Callen. not the kid, just your name. Yeah, but the kid is what people know so me. So that's you, right? Okay, yeah. well, I'm Chris Eagle, Eagle Heart. Dalia. What? So, hey, man, just because I had a nickname. No, I know. Mean my, that was my pre- pre- Why would you want an eagle's heart? They have small hearts. No, they don't. It, they have eagle hearts. Right. They have eagle I know, hearts. but that's not. That's not. They wouldn't pump enough blood to your big, lanky body. Okay, <laughs> that's rude. Why? Okay, because my arms are long. Because there should be wings under them, like an eagle. You have a weak heart, I guarantee. All right, dude. Because Look, you're so I, you know what? Pale. We're getting. I wanted to start something off with this. Okay, I want to. Did you want to, to talk about my nephew Joseph? No, I mean it's music? nice to talk about him. He's been doing it for only three years. That's that's really cool. He plays. The ja- he played kid. a jazz solo at his school, and it yeah. was amazing. Oh, that's really cool. I don't yeah, want to take away from that kid yeah. at all. I think that's great what he's doing. Way to go, Joseph. Very right. talented. Okay. Joseph, Joseph William loves Joseph, you. Joseph, you guys, it's Joseph, Thursday. Joseph, it's Joseph, Thursday. Joseph, Thursday. Joseph, it's Thursday. Thursday. It's Thursday. Joseph, okay. Joseph, it's Thursday. Right. Okay. Sorry. Got it. I, just, I tricked you. Now we're talking about Thursday. So yeah. listen, it's Thursday, and uh, tonight, I just, want every, I just want everybody to know, tonight, I'm going to be in San Francisco performing all weekend at Cobb's Comedy Club. That's Thursday night. Friday two shows, Saturday two shows. Now I'm telling you right now, they're gonna sell out. So go get the tickets now, okay? Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm not trying to be shitty. Why are you being are, shitty? Not trying guys, to be shitty. But you're being shitty. Being please, shitty. please, please, please go now. Yeah. Yeah. Your life depends on. That's it. not true. You're uh, being I know a that. little dramatic well, and a little threatening. It's for. Um, you, you know, know advertising. I know, but don't threaten your audience, man. Hey, man, you know what I've always wondered? Like, you're going to go do stand up and you're mm-hmm. in a city like San Francisco. You guys tour around, you do stand up and stuff. Then what you do? Uh, you hang. But I'll tell you something about Chris's stand up. But, like, what guys. you do? Mm-hmm. Uh, what do? Eat. Whoa, eat, you eat, I read. You read I a lot. Back, I read a lot. Give back to the community. Yeah. I, I practice mm. martial arts. Go to the mall. Uh, anyway, hours. I wanted everybody to know <laughs> that I was going to be at, in San Francisco at Cobb's Comedy Club. And Go to my chrystalia.com. And, and maybe you'll see him at the and, San and Francisco. And for you guys who haven't seen Chris, I was watching you the other weekend. And I'll tell you what I love about your, your stand-up. Oh, wow. I'd love to hear you, this. You, because I've been watching you since you were featuring. I've been watching you for six, seven years now. Yeah. And one thing I love about where you've come as a comic is you had like – you got up there and it was are you going to go house. to maybe eat somewhere, Chris? Uh, well, there are a lot of great places. To yeah, eat like where, 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 where's there a good place for Chris to eat, Brian? The Wharf is, right. fantastic. is the Wharf good? Well, that's kind of close yep. to Cobb's Comedy. M- yep. uh, Boulevard, Boulevard's an oh, amazing that's cool. restaurant. You know what yeah. they have? You know what they have in San Francisco? What? They have the Golden Gate Bridge. <laughs> Well, that's right. Yeah, you can't yeah. eat on that. I mean, yeah. unless you bring a. You, you know, can go fashion. check you can it out. Run. You can run. On you can it. go to a gift shop and bring part of it back. You can bring a snow globe back with right. the Golden yeah. Gate Bridge in it. Yeah. What What were you gonna say about? Um, you were gonna say something about my stand up. Yes. I was featuring for a while. Oh, well, I love about what I love about your stand up is like when you used to start out. You know, you were always very funny and physical, and you oh, told thanks. jokes. But now I feel like, for the most part, 
you're working. Can there's... you come up on the mic a little? Please? Oh, dude, if you tell me to come up on the mic one I'm more sorry, time, I'm just saying, please I come up on the mic. I am not going to come up on the mic. Well, just a bit. Now, no. you're, now you're up on no, the mic. Okay, now you're up on the mic. I don't now have c- to come up on the mic. Just please. Well, he's, no. Yeah. You're, you know what you are, dude? You're very anal. Do you know that? No, I'm not no, very do you anal. Know, do you know that you're hyper anal? No, I'm not no, hyper anal. You should see something. about Look, I'm about sitting here. I'm the chief engineer of laughter and cheer. I'm sitting in front don't of the computer. Don't call yourself that. I've got to start this thing. i got to stop this thing. i got to make sure people can hear you. Everyone fucking tweets in at 10 Min Pod and Facebook slash 10 min pod and even though Chris hates it when I say that I do not and like, they go, like that there's they, a lot of they, things I don't like and they go I can't fucking hear Brian right. And so if we want to do a podcast about hey! all the things that you do wrong, right. then let me tell you something. The chief engineer no, of laughter and cheer, now. what do you yeah. want to do? Let's not do that now about talking about something else. And that, well, no, I don't want to talk about something else. What I want to talk I mean, I don't know. Like you, I just want Brian to finish his thought about how I was Oh, doing. sorry. I was being a bad. No, it's okay. But, I was being um, a rude podcast. Well, you were saying uh, that, I don't know, you were going to, you said, you know what, you, I mean, I, I don't want to sound like a cock, but you were like, you know what I love about Chris's stand-up? Oh, and I'm then sorry. you got yeah, derailed yeah, yeah, because of course, Will. Of course, of course. Yeah, thank you, Will. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I think Will. that I think that right now, you know, if you look at the state of comedy, I think what's refreshing about your comedy is that you are you are very honestly take taking a stand, and I think I think what I'm seeing more now is a point of view. About for sure, don't drink. Say. For sure, don't drink that close to the mic. Oh. Oh. It drives sorry. me crazy that I'm you're sorry. always taking hydrating. Can I tell you something? Why do you drink so much? Can I tell you something honestly? Are you that dry all I know, the I was time? just having a little beverage, taking, but can I tell you something honestly? What? On. I drink close to the mic so that I stay close to the mic, and that's something you know right. so little I, about. Let's not... Don't... He's got these weird... He's got water. It's got... It's like a pH balanced, and then he's drinking Coke yeah. Zero. Then I got a Coke Zero. Yeah, it totally balances it out. Yeah, which just fucks I'm it drinking up. your other Coke Zero. I'm thirsty. Okay, Go ahead. look, look, look. Uh, I'm going to. Can, look, Chris is Chris is yeah. Chris. I, look, I, I'm sorry. Oh. Can I say something? I forgot what we were talking about right. today. Well, you said something about I did. Chris. Did you say you were going to San Francisco and you wanted some suggestions on shit to do? No, in no, San Fran? no. I was no. saying this. I like your stand up. Here's what I love about your stand up. Here's what I love about your stand up. I think that for the first time in your career, in a lot of ways, you are very clear. Something, by the way, this guy to my right is not. Will Sasso is not clear. You know, but you're very clear I'll about you your that. about your. Um, I'll call you. Hey, 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 hey! I was. A, it was just a. It was just a phone call. That if it goes to message, my voice box is full. My voicemail is full. All right. It was just my manager. It doesn't I matter. I hung up on her. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't I, matter. Say, say what you were. Say what you were saying. All right. Can you just? You said something about taking a stand. Yeah, I think that about, your stand up is refreshing, and I think the reason people right, need to so, see it is because for the first time, I think in a lot of ways, there seems to be. God damn it. What's going on? No, he, whose phone is that? Why are you? Whose phone is that? I don't whose know. Phone whose phone is, phone that? is that? What's it's going on? My, is it yours? It's my phone. What is your Answer phone it. doing? Hello. Hello. Is that my phone? Yeah, you're yeah, calling. Yeah. You're, you're talking. Why are you calling, Chris? No, I was just holding my phone close. It is my phone. Okay, hold on. Sorry, let me I hang know, because What? Say that again. That sounds cool. I. I I am, you're calling. What are we doing? That's I don't know. Cool. That is kind of it a cool effect, cool. though. You it's have like to admit. A, no, it's because I was just. I just said to my manager, "I'll call you back," because right. she just called me, and my voicemail is full, and she wants to get yeah, a hold I, of me because there was something really important that she wanted to talk about. There was this thing going on, and I, I, I don't want to spend any more time on that in the podcast. But it's right. very exciting, and I know that a lot of you people that enjoy my work and, and what I, I do okay, will be very about excited Chris. about it. But, but, okay, I do want to. Then, but I, then my phone was close to the mic because I was holding it there because as I told Brian, and being the chief engineer of laughter and cheer, I said. I Brian, like I, I know you don't, but, but I'm telling Brian, stay up on the mic. So that's why I had a little drink of, of, of my beverages, of my uh, alkalized water here, and then the Coke Zero. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It's caffeine. Being descriptive. It doesn't matter. And, and really. then I took the call, okay. but yeah, it was I, silent. I, I, but so, then I accidentally, I kind of so, thumb dialed you. I, I, so, I, I, I get it. Chris, but what? I got all this stuff right in front of the mic. Uh, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get it. Can, okay. Just put your phone down. It's down. Mine's, I don't, I'm putting mine on silent. Okay. My stand-up is refreshing. Yes, sorry. Or, oh, I mean, well, so here's, what, here's what I like. For, I, so, so I, for example, I mean, this is a lot of comics, and okay. I'm not. He hasn't done stand-up, but will if will do stand-up. My guess is, if he were to do stand-up, right. he would do a lot of 
character. Oh, okay. So We're out of. Okay. But let's not talk about me. Talk right. about Chris. No. And what I like, what but, I like about your stand. Hurry up now. Right. We've only got a little bit of time right. left for you to compliment Chris before he goes off to San Francisco tonight. you let tonight, me do it tonight, okay? And all weekend, That's Thursday, right. Friday, Saturday at Cobb's Comedy Club. Yeah. That's right. And, 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 and you want to see Chris? And you hey, see you want to see where he gets his? Where do no, you get the tickets? Hmm. Chris would say he'd say hmm. Obviously, go to my fucking website, Crystalia.com. Right. And that's where he would fucking tell people on Twitter. I don't even know. I can't tell if you're being helpful or rude. Fuck you for following me, asshole. Go to fucking Crystalia.com, and now I'm going to block your sorry ass. I can't. I can't. Sorry, not sorry. Helpful, or are you too Canadian? And that's the kind of comedy that you will be uh, checking out. No, go see Chris's comedy, because i got to tell you something. Please. Tell us something about it. For me, I think it's refreshing. It's got a point of view, and what I really, really love about it, I think that the thing that really, uh, you know, I really appreciate about it, you know, that I don't overall is... For sure, don't do that. Hey, man, it's podcast time with the pals, you know? It is, isn't it? It's so podcast time. Well, I don't like to agree to that, but yeah. Some podcasts are so, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10 Minute Podcast. Hey, what's up? That's welcome, right. Welcome to 10 Minute right. Podcast. That's right. <clears throat> wait, wait hold on a second. No, don't. <laughs> no. Um, <laughs> no. Today is the 24th of July because we know that we're airing this episode on Thursday, the 24th of July. Now, if well, you listen to the show, okay. by the way, welcome to the show. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. You want to buy some on Amazon? Go 10 Minute Podcast.com for hit band. Yeah, bang. And then, uh, hey, you like to show you Ray Review I yeah. My name is Will Sasso. Ick. And. Um, <laughs> I say leave it. That's all I do from now. Yeah. Now, is I'm just going to go. You go, Will. Do Hi, thing. my name is Will Sessel. I'm Brian the Kid Callen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So um, here's what's up today. We just got together. As we've said before, we like to record a bunch of these at the same time. We're all very busy dudes. Uh, and today we're trying. We are, we are well, about to endeavor to, yeah. to record a lot of episodes. Right. And we're starting without Brian. Yeah, we are. Because we have to do how many today? I think 11 or 12. All right, that's too many. And that's 100% too many because we have a but, lot of things we yeah, have to do. But, hmm, 100% or 100% too yeah, many? You know, hmm, I you will know, say maybe it's yeah. 100%, but yeah. I did say t- or percent. No, you said tercent. I said and tercent. And when you said that, and it wasn't quite I was like, tercent. Hmm, what, is, what does that mean? Right. But it wasn't quite tercent. If it wasn't tercent, right. it was tercent. Yeah, it was tercent. It was it something was either like that. T- Percent. Well, we'll let you know percent. what, if you, listeners. Why don't you go back and and take a listen and see what it was? And if you follow us on Twitter at Tim and Pod or Facebook slash Tim and Pod, you can let us know whether it's T apostrophe percent or P apostrophe tercent or tercent. Like I think Will was, was saying, but I, I think, think it was tercent. I think it was tercent or one percent. One hundred percent. That was tercent. No, I don't know about that. <laughs> so uh, we're just gonna start without Brian because fuck. Yeah, we got too many to do, and Brian's yeah. not here because Brian. He's always late, and we don't have time for being late right now. Yeah, and he's also on the other side of town, and he had to do something. We're all running around. He had to pitch something in Playa del Mar, which and is any a 100%. Playa del anything yeah. is always too far from wherever you are. Yeah, that's a Spanish name, and he's right. that's in Mexico, Playa del right. Mar. I like Playa del Carmen, and that's on the Mayan Riviera. It's too far. And that is, that is 100% Mexico. And let me tell you something right now. I like... Hollywood, <laughs> because it's not far. Yeah, but Chris, it is far what? from other places. No, it's then far. You from know the what you ocean, do if you're from, from other the places? What? Simply move to Hollywood. No, don't move to Hollywood. As a matter Be of fact, really congested. I'm moving out of Hollywood. Well, I don't live in Hollywood per se. Per se, uh, right? I live in uh, Los Feliz. Per se, yeah, per se. Right. Per se <laughs> Which is Latin, in. like Playa del Mar. Right. Well, means beach of the ocean, which also, is redundant. Right. That's not cool. That's We're why learning I, a lot today. Well, yeah, but also. Do you have to say per se, or do you never have to say per se? I'm trying to figure that out. Is that one of those things? Yeah, it is kind of dumb yeah. to say per se. Or, it's like saying actually, or because uh, well, no, you don't ever really. Need it's to worse say than saying actually. actually. But but is actually something you ever have to say? Or actually, no? yeah, you don't actually. If you're saying something and you mean it actually, you don't have to say actually. Right, you're not right. Yeah. So. Hmm. So so, hmm, so per se and yeah. actually don't need to be worse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm just all right. Well, all right. Well. Okay. okay well, look. Yeah. I'm not the. Su- I'm not the supreme arbiter of words. Right. Can I, I say know. arbiter? Sure, you can because that's a word that means something. And okay. It, so it actually, doesn't, doesn't an arbiter does? Well, actually means something, but it's kind of like saying that's nothing. <laughs> all right. Because man. you you say, "Hey, I'm hungry," yeah. or "Hey, I'm actually hungry." 
You know what? <laughs> it means the same thing. Or when you say I'm hungry or I'm literally hungry. Yeah. Yeah. Well, people – well, literally does mean something. Yeah. But people misuse it way too much. Yeah, they do. And don't and sound those people, like you're... And those people I like to call – Girls. Okay, man. No, First it's of true. all, that's a little weird. Second of all, you always sound like you're wrapping up the news <laughs> when you say Dude, something. Let's that you let's mean. say like obviously there are people who say literally too much, yeah. and some are girls, some are guys. Yeah, but most of them are girls. Right up, there. Ding, up next, uh, ding, 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 ding. news, news, weather, and sports with Chance Cumulus and yeah. Crystalia. Um. <clears throat> so and so anyway, girls stop saying literally. All right. Uh, we, don't, we have no Brian here, and we're halfway through the show. We are? A- and it's Thursday. Yeah. There we go. We, yeah. got, 11... we, got, we got one of those shows. Yeah. I'm heading out of town. I'm shooting something. I don't even want to say what it is because it's a surprise. Yeah. It's a surprise. Yeah. It's a surprise. And not going to air everywhere. So when I say surprise, <laughs> surprise for you, some. May, you may not even see it ever. The surprise, the surprise for some of is you're never going to see it. You're never going to see it. Some of you are really going to see it. <laughs> and by the way, anybody who's going to see not going to see it for a while. <laughs> but uh, is, is it because when you shoot something in yeah. Hollywood, it always takes seven years for it to come out? Uh, when you shoot something in Hollywood, everything takes seven years to come out because a lot of people are just kind of shooting films because mm-hmm. it's time for them to make their independent mm-hmm. film. And then they don't understand that when you get a uh, million or $500,000 or $2 million together to make a film, essentially what you're doing most of the time is making a very expensive uh, home movie. Mm-hmm. And I've done that. I've put together, I actually had a film company a while back. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you know, did you know that? I had a film company. I <laughs> started a film company uh, in 2006, 2007, wow. right in there. I said, you know what? What? I'm going to do it myself. Yeah. You know, I got all these guys. And- Interesting. So what'd you do yourself? We made a film. And? The, the d- distribution company that we went with finally after three years of it being completed mm-hmm. just recently went bankrupt about a year ago. Oh, interesting. And that film that we made is out of print. Oh. And I'm not even going to tell you what it is because don't even want you to go look for it. But it's a fine film that I stand by and a lot of my friends And it's it. out. Oh, it's out. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you can kind of find it. Uh-huh. It's not fun many- to... You know why you don't need to make a film company? Right. There are so many film companies. I know. You can just make a movie. Yeah. Just make a movie. Hey, also, how many... I'm trying to think. Dis- distribution. How many Ds does that have in the beginning of it? Distribution? Yeah. One. Oh, okay. Why? Because you said d- 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 distribution. So I'm like... Oh, no, mm. man. I was just stuttering a bit when I oh. said... Dist- oh, yeah. so there's not four? No, man. There's oh, not four. Oh, God, dude. I'm... <laughs> I thought maybe everything I knew about the English language was turned on its head for a second, but you, you just made really... a fucking stupid mistake. Oh, okay. Oh, hmm. A lot of the things I say, I mean, you know, I mean, look, you said tercent. Yeah, I know, but we made um, only one movie, and uh, we did it. We gave it one hundred and ten tercent, or actually one hundred and ten tercent. Um, yeah, we made a movie. Now it's just like make a movie. Don't make yeah. a thing. You know, I just wrote a thing. Right. We want to make a movie. Want to make moo. Want to make moo. Just make moo. Don't make a film company. Make Because you know what you got to do when you have a film company? Mm-hmm. A lot of paperwork. Right, right, right. We'll be right, right. right back with the news. You know what you have with, to do what? when you when you make moo? When what? you when you make moo yourself? What? what? And you have got a company? What? You got to do a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> yeah. that's not making moo. <laughs> that, yeah. And I like to be creative. Right. Don't like to do paperwork. Right, right. Like, of course Because you're not a cop. No, that's right. right. Hey, hey, not a school teacher. No. You okay, know what? Right. We'd like to pay our editor to start uh, doing a rough cut and uh, just a sort of a rough assemble and then hand it off to our director. But you know what? We can't because we didn't get the SAG waiver back because we didn't fill right. that out properly. Right. You and know that's... what? Because I don't know how because fuck that. Right. I don't and know also, what that is. Right. And, and I... you have a production company. Right. <laughs> But if you just make moo, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Yeah. I don't need to pretend that I'm a movie exec. No, you don't. Because you, you know don't. what? I don't want to start a movie company. No. Because also, people will be like, hey, oh, you make movies, but you are the actor Will Sasso. <laughs> Hey, are you also are you also that actor Will Sasso? Yeah. So did you hit your head and think for a second <laughs> that you're supposed to start a movie company? Because there's a bunch of guys who don't act th- that want to start movie companies, and you could just make a movie with them. Yeah. And then you know what you do after you make the movie? You forget about it, right? And you and go off like, and do another one. Oh yeah, because I got news for you. I made I made Moo uh, in 2002. Yeah. It hasn't come out yet. Yeah. Well, now it's too late. Now it's too late. And you know why? Because I look 22. <laughs> The and they can't be like the guy from Undateable. No. Because I'm not that guy anymore. Well, you could be the guy from Undateable's brother. Right. Right. You could be that guy. I was. Which leads me to my long winded point. We all are our past brothers. Huh? 
We all, in essence, are our past brothers. Okay, you know, look, we have a lot of irreverent conversations on the show, and sometimes we say weird shit, and I was saying, like, tercent. That's what I was leading to. And then I was going, distribution. But what you said just made, that I don't understand what you mean. We all, currently, right, are our past brothers. That would... Really deep, I don't know. It is very deep, and I am a lot like Nietzsche. Nietzsche. Nitsky. Nitsky. Ray Ray Nitsky? Nitsch. Nitsch. Ninchin. Ninchin. Ninchin, tur- <sighs> Ninchin Turtles. <laughs> Dude, you hit your head. I, I hit it. You hit your head. Oh, I can't air this and feel uh, good about it. Chris hit his head. Oh. Uh, hey, happy Thursday. The next month of episodes that you listen to are going to be all over the fucking place. Because <laughs> we recorded them all together. Yeah. You know? Yeah? Yeah. One down. I feel good. Yeah, me too. I'm nervous. I feel good, man. I'm nervous. Actually. I'm happy to share, and I feel good. Yeah. Some podcasts are slow, and you don't know how long they last. That's why you're listening to 10-Minute Podcast. Welcome to our beloved 10-Minute Podcast. You want to buy something on Amazon, you know, you go to 10minutepodcast.com, you hit the Amazon banner. That's how you do it. And uh, hit all our banners and stuff. We got the live show. We got merchandise. We got all this stuff. Hey, buy our live show and get uh, rate and review us on iTunes. Subscribe on iTunes. Yeah. Uh, my name is Will, the chief engineer of Laughter and Cheer Sasso. I'm Brian the Kid Callen. And Chris D'Elia is not with us. And I'm glad he's not because this gives us a, a, a unique opportunity, Brian, to share to something. work on something. We've yeah. been working on and we're very excited about. And we just said, fuck it. We well, have I, a podcast. I think, I think both of we us. We can share it here. Well, both of us kind of are tired of doing just comedy. We, we're known as comedy. Yeah. And one well, of the things I, I, I cut my teeth on drama. Well, I did a series uh, growing up in Canada for five years. It was uh, yeah, you critically said that, acclaimed. No, you it's said won that 15 times on this podcast. Actually, over 100, and over 150 again. times you said yeah. that on this Awards everywhere, but in the United times. States. So, sure. you know, I, I, I'm not tired of doing just yeah. comedy because I've always been doing drama. Well, well that, I'm an actor. Everybody knows that. Well, I've always been yeah, doing you, drama. You never miss an opportunity. Right. Like that. And that's okay. And that's okay. You're proud of it. So here's the thing. Uh, Brian and I, uh, yeah. proud to announce here that yeah. we've been working on a two-man show. It's a sort of a one-act play. It's a two-man play. It's something we're kind of workshop and do you want to tell them the it. setting yeah it's really uh it's a fun concept it's called two guys in a car i think well that's the working we title we've also th- i think it should be called teetering um it's two guys in a Bri- car brian thinks it should be called living on the edge and i'll tell you why yeah. even though brian asked me to set it up and then he started talking yeah, here's the, the show takes place where these two guys have been driving along like a country pass uh, like a mountain pass rather and they're driving along and they're way out and they they hit uh they hit this like cliff thing and the car spins out ice right? slick yeah ice slick yeah. sure that'll do it and uh, they end up in sort of like in the movies where you see the car just just teetering on the edge right and you just don't want to move you don't want to move because if you move the car will go all the way over right yeah. it's like uh, I haven't seen it but didn't that happen in Thelma and Louise something like that yeah probably okay I don't want to watch it because then we'll be like creatively derivative right uh, in our show in, in teetering I want to call it again I think teetering I just I like that. I, I feel like that's a little on the nose. But living on the edge is, just sounds like an Aerosmith song because it's living an Aerosmith edge, song. Two guys in a yeah. car. Well, the that the, no, the name doesn't matter. We'll come living up with it. Living on the edge is pretty good though. Well, because they're both they're they're confronting who they are in this moment. Til- what about Tilton? <sighs> All right. Look, we'll get back to that. The point is this. Brian and I like to get together. We like to work on these scenes. We write them. And one of the ways to to get into it is we just sort of improvise uh, these two characters yeah. who, um, you know, are – they're very they're very interesting guys. Brian's character is named Mitch. And he, do, he doesn't like that. Mark, man. I don't yeah, like okay, Mitch. Your Mitch, name is Mark. Wes. No, my name is not Wes. We've Wes? been through this. No, no, no. It's I'm, a good name. I'm Eddie. Know. Okay, so you're. But Eddie what are you, is so Mark? New York, Will. All right, you know? we we can change the names later. Right, it doesn't fine. matter what the fuck the names are. Uh, so Jim and John or whatever, it doesn't matter, Brian. That part doesn't matter. What matters is the drama, and uh, we're just going to improvise part of the scene now. They're 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 looking back on their life. They're wondering if it's over. It's yeah. reflections. It's stuff like that. They're yeah. teetering, and uh, uh, and go. so we'll, let's let's join uh, let's join uh, Steve and Dwight as they're uh, in the middle of the scene. Okay. <laughs> Hey, calm down. Calm down. Okay, calm down. But wait, Brian, Brian. I'm not saying calm down in the character right now. I'm telling you to calm down. 
He's in, he's literally about to go over I know, a cliff, but, man. But this is we're just yeah. But in, I'm making choices okay, I, here. I, I don't, they're very very wow, strong choices. Man. Yeah. And Here's that's what important. I'm saying. We have our audience. I literally minute, didn't even get a chance to do hold anything. on. This is our 10 minute podcast audience. Yeah. Let's introduce them to it slowly. Well, right. so this I'm is in a part, car, bro. I don't yeah, know but how they've else been you want sitting to do in the it. car for like an hour and well, a bit. Well, then they could die any minute. I know, but at this point, they're a little wow. So okay, can you not? All right. So so okay. So it's Bruce and Trent, and they're in the car. You're Bruce. I'm Trent. A little bit less sauce, man. Just, you can't direct me, you bro. Gotta put you got to You got to let me do. You got to put a little less salt and pepper on that steak. You got to let man. me do what I'm doing, man. Yeah, I know, bro. I've done a lot of acting, just and I know little, how I would be. Just a little less. I know sauce, how I'd be. You should probably back the off the mic. Well, I'm too. scared of, of heights. All right, don't worry about please that. Please don't. All right. please don't direct me, man. All right, okay. Greg, how are you feeling, man? You said it was Bruce. Okay, whatever. Which name do you want? Bruce. Let's get man. that out of the way. All right, I'm Trent. You're Bruce. You guys. Okay. Trent. I'm Trent. Your Bruce. Here we go. And fucking halfway through the fucking show now. Come this on. is our process. I got it. This guy's crazy. Your Bruce. I'm Trent. Don't be shivering. Try not to shit yourself. I'm scared, bro. Back off the mic, bro. I'm in the scene. I'm scared. Back off the mic, Trent. Bro. I'm scared, man. Oh, here. See what he I'm did? I'm scared. And action. I'm scared. I'm so scared. I know you're scared, Bruce. We're all scared, but scared of what? Scared Life of happenings dying. to what the do you living. Think, man? Hold on. Let me finish my line. God. Hold on. Life happens to the living. And when it's over, you can't take it with you. I know, Trent. I don't even know what that means right now. I just want to get home to my kids, man. I don't want them to grow up with some other dude raising them. And I don't want to die like this. Hey, man, no one's going to die. How do you know, man? This car, if I even move, this car's going to go over this cliff. Yeah, well, I'll tell you one thing you can do to help our situation out is stop crying because you keep teetering the car back and forth. All right. Yeah. Just, sorry. Just try to relax. Try to breathe. I have something I want to say to you. What's that? Okay. Don't get mad. No, I'm not going to get mad, man. Okay. You know, Tommy. Tommy's a great kid. You mean my son? Yeah. You know, like sometimes joking around, we're like, that kid looks just like me. Like who, Dwight? Bruce? It's like, like me, right? <laughs> you know? What are you saying? I'm saying just things happen sometimes. That's all I'm saying. And they weigh on you hard. And sometimes you get in a situation where you don't know if you're going to make it. You want to come clean before you meet your maker. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you again. We're going to get out of here. But if you're saying what I think you're saying, you're lucky we're in a car teetering, living on the edge. I mean teetering. Because if it wasn't for that, man, I'd be across this car Kicking your ass. I know, man. Please just calm down. I'm, I guess maybe I'm telling you this because I'm afraid of you and you're bigger and I know you'd kick my ass and I just want to say this to get it off my chest in case we don't make Yeah. Uh, don't worry about it, Craig. I got something to tell you. What? You remember that time you were helping out your wife with her book club? and Yeah, You guys sure. had that, that bake sale? Uh-huh. And I went to help your wife? Yeah. Well, I did a little more than help your wife with the bake sale. Oh, 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 I'm confused. You know those brownies that everybody liked? Yeah, sure. I shit in those, and I also fucked your wife. Ah, uh, okay, that's a little too much, right? God damn it, dude! Yeah. Well, no, Why I don't would know. You shit in the brownies and then fuck my wife. I don't Man, know. Because also, you that said, was my. I just. You did, said that you. That was my have, thing, and you, you sired, copied my, my. You sired my, my kid. Yeah. Yeah, and so instead and then of going I say with I that, shit. you chose to say I shot in brownies. I, I, and th- th- I fucked your wife. Yeah, I mean. It's, it's too much. It's too much. I think so. But this is good because we show the the audience what our process is. Well, I just wanted to be in a situation where I say that to you and you can't hit me because the car will go over. Right. That's and good. You gotta well, take okay. It. Let's take it from there. Let's take it from there. Fuck. All right. Okay. Just don't move, man. I'm not. Please don't you move. You're I lucky guess we're I'm... in a car teetering on the edge, or it'd be a different story for you right now. I'll yeah. You that. You'd probably kick Jim. the shit out of me, or maybe Jim. even kill me. John. Jim. It's, What's your name? It's fucking. It's Bruce. Bruce, Your bro. Bruce. You have to get my name. It doesn't. The names it don't matter. It does matter because I'm trying to stay in character. And if you call me John, I'm right. like, uh, you know, living on the edge is good. By the way, I think that I think. <sighs> Can I'm we just keep doing the scene, bro? No, we don't have a whole lot of time left. Well, I mean, we can keep going. Yeah, All right, let's you, take it from. Okay, we got like a few, few little, little I while mean, left. Let's let's you have shoot to way forward. Me and you're really no, 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 mad. We're, we're way over that now, Fuck. and now we're talking about good times. Good times. All right. Yeah, that was the best summer of my life, man. 
I'd give anything to be back on that lake right now. Hey, remember when we were in Wyoming and we saw those antelope and we yeah. pulled out those guns and we were like, let's not shoot the antelope. Yeah. Oh, they, we just, we were so drunk. We let <laughs> loose and oh, they looked man. like paper bags blowing yeah. in the wind after we were done. Those are the sort of memories you wonder if you're dreaming. It was but so I'll bad, tell you right? What, what wasn't a dream, me fucking your wife. I did it again. You know, man, yeah. I was trying to go with you there. Yeah. And it's not, yeah. I don't think you would. I don't think the character would say it that aggressively. No, he wouldn't be. Like, you know what I mean? Even though you know that they, your kid is now my kid. Yeah. Like, I just feel like that would be a little bit. Do you think that's a little too much? Yeah, I do. I do think it's a little. Okay, too can much. you stop saying that then? Fuck you. Yeah. What if the show? Okay, now just go with me. We only have a few seconds left here. What if they're in the car on the edge, are gonna yeah. fall, and but the whole thing's called "I fucked your wife." <sighs> oh, how about we call it a hundred ways to fuck your wife? I don't know that that is what we're trying to work at. Because but that's what they're they're talking about. That my character, that Trent fucked Bruce's wife. Yeah. And they're in a car and they're gonna fall. So we both fucked each other's wives. No, I, you only you sired my child through artificial insemination. What? But I why? Fucked, but I fuck to... your wife on the reg. No. Like all the time. I don't get that plot twist. I think it's pretty good. Hey, guess what? What? Some podcasts are slow. I don't know. And you don't know how long they last. That's why you listen to 10 Minute Podcast. Um, I liked it better. I like it better if Brian doesn't sing to it. Nah. Not a problem. <laughs> okay, I don't like it when Welcome you take liberties. Welcome to the 10 Minute Podcast. I don't like you're it gonna when buy- you take liberties with the notes. When I fucking really riff it out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't like that. Okay? And you don't know how long it lasts. Brian, stop hijacking me I when I... Think don't do that. I think... You know what? I'm actually sure don't do that. 10 Minute Podcast. Welcome to the no, 10 Minute Podcast. No, no. Uh, if you're going to buy something on Amazon, please visit uh, the band at the 10 minute podcast anything and we'll get it for the same thing uh, my name is will gladiator helmet face sasso i'm brian callen brian the kid callen almost forgot his own nickname cool yeah i'm uh, i'm crystally and i'm i'm i don't have anything because i'm wrong which is what you get and um brian was like grab your guitar because he's like i want to sing i just want to sing wasn't. so i grabbed he my wasn't. guitar i was here and he don't wasn't. you ever want to just sing about like just how when you got an itch you can't scratch? No. And you're trying to scratch it nah. with any means necessary? No. And a girl just... This is the only time when Chris is looking at his phone that I think it's actually yeah, completely it's suited, fitting. It's suited. But she comes out of yoga. No. What She's wearing you? slippers and them tight pants. No. no. And I said, hey, how are you? I see you around here lots of times. I don't know. I don't I think so. I wonder if you'd like to go to dinner with me or maybe just grab a coffee. Uh, it's a says, bad song. Sorry, I'd like to. Yeah, you're not I'm really playing along so with. So the... damn busy. It's a bad song. It's a bad song. It's a bad song. So what I do is I jump to the chase. No, it's a bad song. It's a bad I say song. I got four hundred dollars in my pocket. I'll take you to dinner. I'll give you all that right, money. All right, but we haven't. All right, okay, let's, well, yeah, let's what try is it? To... You're just like Paul Simoning it. Only it's a real bad version. Yeah, of it. there's no. Let, let's come up with a. What, what would you like to sing about, Brian? No, or just don't. Just, just don't do it about... at all. Yeah, just don't. No, I just want to sing about. You know. How I want this just goes out to all the guys out there. No, we're trying to get a little something, something, no. and they get shut down, you know. And they come at it with a full heart and clear eyes. No, and all they want to do is, a little, I don't know, just cut out a little piece for themselves, you I know. Don't think Maybe so. shine a little light on that darkness on the edge of town, you know. Uh, Maybe they just want to. Uh, maybe they got some extra cash lying around. I'm pretty sure no. I can tell you probably. It's too much of an getting intro. Tired of that. Crazy dead end job. Yeah. How about I give you four hundred dollars and you come upstairs to my apartment and I fuck you. Why? Why four hundred dollars? Ah, five hundred if you really push me. You gave away your hand, right? I'll there. give you six hundred for the girlfriend experience. That means no condom. Is that what that means? I don't know that. And I'll pay your fucking rent this month if you let me fuck you more than once. Yeah. I'll pay your fucking rent this month if you let me fuck you more than once. He uh, said he'll pay your fuck. Wait, it's he said he'll pay your no he'll he'll pay your fucking rent this. No, it's yeah. Here it oh, no, just to all he'll of it. Pay your fucking rent this month if you let him fuck you more than once. 
Oh, uh, you know, and then, you know, I don't think any girl, I mean, you know, there are girls that would want to do that, but I don't think you need to make a song about that. Yeah, but it's, kind it's, of not, dumbing, but dumbing Chris, down. it's not really about the fact that there's a song about it. It's just kind of catchy. It's People just don't sure. listen to the lyrics. I it's just kind of so. catchy. Yeah, yeah. yeah she but looked at me really You kind of have a responsibility. You kind of have a responsibility, she you know. She put her hand up she, she like didn't. she was warding off a spirit, and she said, hey, I could never do that. I'm not some kind of hooker. I said, of course you're not. You're just a girl. You're talking a girl into kind of just... Who needs help? Yeah, you're a bad guy. Why would you want to sling long necks all day? But all you got to do is say yes, and I'll pay your fucking rent this month if you let me fuck you more than once. Yeah, you, you, it's just irresponsible. I'll let you drive my car as That's well way if worse. you let me fuck you five or six times. That's way worse, dude. You're, I'll do you're, fucking you're, anything. You're being, it is a bit aggressive. Yeah, you're you're being. You're also like what? gritting your teeth. Huh? You're just you're being like I very like, chauvinistic. Well, what kind of and, song would you sing, Chris? I, I don't know. I mean, well, it, you could probably come up with something. Yeah, like a nice song. All right, well, sing a nice song, man. I thought my song was kind of nice. I'm trying to help her. Like out. about the stars in the sky or something. All right, go ahead. Holy shit, your face is getting soft, man. It's changing, right? Yeah. There's more stars in the sky than you give me credit for. Wow. What the? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There's Shoot. more guys in this bar that you give me credit for. I'm getting teary-eyed. Holy shit. We used to be best friends and now we're just hanging out. He's really singing about somebody. When we touch, it's not the same. <laughs> Fuck you! Don't lie. He's Under crying. all these stars, you know what I mean. That's like, a beautiful song. That's really. That's a beautiful that's, song. It's that really, really that's pretty. pretty. I, I don't One know. Of the most beautiful I mean, songs I've ever heard. Because you, Did were you being, just come up with that. Why? Yeah. I mean, you're I, singing about somebody there. I mean, I like to get in touch with who, what my, my real side and what. Under, dude, under all these stars. Holy yeah. shit! That's a beautiful I mean, song. Brian, you came up with. I'll, I'll pay your fucking rent. You yeah. even use the word fucking. I'll pay your fucking rent yeah. this yeah. month so now if you let me fuck you more than once. I was trying to get. Fuck is in the title. I was twice. getting raw and, and feel honest, real bad. But now, I like, though, right? yeah, that's, I, mean, I, yeah, I would yeah. if I were him. I, mean, I like under all these stars. Yeah. We, I wanna, can I try? Uh, I, don't I, I, I mean, I would. You, yeah, I don't think you could get away with it. Uh, how, um, I don't even know. Try how. to get in touch with your real sensitive, you know. All right. Sing about something, like right. somebody that you know or something, you know. Okay. And don't get aggressive. When I looked in your eyes, I thought to myself, I do anything. Okay. Out on the strand. Okay. Like even mm. I'd cut my fingers. Okay. Off. Okay. Yeah. Tip limbs from my body. Um. My heart beats so strong. Okay. I feel like I don't need anything okay. but to hold you in my gaze. Yeah, okay. Pretty nice. If you fucking cheat well, okay. on me, right, I hold swear down. Hold to on. fucking God, I'd mongol that motherfucker. What? Yo, hold on. Get, get back down to the stars. Action caught his fucking hurdle. All right, 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 right. right, right. You just switch, gen- you switch genres, basically. You know what it is? I try okay. to protect my heart. It I, turns into fuck, I get vulnerable, and there's then no, I remember Brian, getting no such, fucked over. There's no such thing as barbarian folk. <sighs> yeah. All right. So that, don't create that genre here <laughs> on the right, podcast. Right, 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 I don't want to be responsible well, or you, even half responsible well, you, for barbarian folk. Well, I know you've got a fucking... He's got, you a got heart. something in you, bro. Yeah, I can sing and play the guitar, but well, you know what? what? Would you sing, man? So can one in three guys walking down the street. So okay, it's not right. that special. I know, but true. Chris I'm just kinda... about broke my fucking heart in half with that Chris's song. Chris's song was beautiful. Under all these stars is yeah, bound to be a hit. Do you have anything like that? Uh, you know. Hold on. Right. I don't know. Okay. Let me go. Okay. Oh, sure. I used to walk you home from school, even though it was the other way. Mm. From where I live today and in the past. Holy shit. Wow. That's good. That's I used really to nice. walk you home from school. <laughs> You're fucking crying, dude. Even though it was <laughs> far it's away. Good. Yeah. Wait, okay, here. I used to walk you home from school. I like the tone. <laughs> I like the tone in his voice, you know? 
Dude, he's crying. It's not I, laughing. He is. That's not I laughing. It seems like laughing. It's crying. School. No, I used to walk you home from school. So good. Even though it was far away. That's <laughs> very on, take sweet. It easy, take it easy. Yeah, he's God, fucking why is he sad. Crying? He's actually bawling. Bro, that's did. bawling. He's no. fucking crying. And it's, it looks like you guys hear laughter. He's literally tears. It does sound out. a little bit like laughter, but the thing it about Willis. It does sound like laughter. It's hey, small. You're, it's all right, bro. It's, it's all right. It's okay. Trust I used us. to walk you home from school. There you go. Yeah. Even though it was far away. Mm-hmm. Open your mouth. I used Open to your walk mouth. you home from school Breathe. just the other Day. It's go. actually really simple day. but sweet. Simple day. but sweet. Go with the stars now and kind of. I don't know. I got. I, 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 I don't. You know. School. It's just like I just get to sing about people. You know. Yeah, man. Please, please do again. Yeah. Okay. It was election day. I couldn't get off work. Oh my god. And my girl, you remember you, my girl, and you went and stood in. Less about who I was voting for and more about what we share. Oh my god, it's so good. On election day. Election day. On election day. It's so good. And then I walk yeah. you home from school. Yeah, it's not. It's even not. though it was the other way. Well, we were older than, than in school in that story.